What was a fact that you regret knowing? Something along the lines of, if a child is kidnapped and isn't recovered within 4 hours there's an 80% chance they are already killed. From personal experience, just how fast pigs process a corpse had an old goat die in the barn and didn't find her for a couple hours. At the time we had two pigs that were a few months old, didn't realize just how much we had fricked up by letting them be in with the goats that day. Come evening, we go to close up and do the evening chores, and find half of a goat spilled all over the floor with our pigs rooting around the guts. And that's the story of how 15 year old me learned to respect pigs. My mom's cousin, interacted with a pig when she was 5, many years later. It took very many surgical operations from a very talented doctor to make her face look acceptable. And there was no way to restore two lost fingers, of course. Bob Ross actually hated his afro. When he started out it was the cheapest hairstyle to maintain and once he picked up some traction it was too iconic to get rid of. This is the saddest thing I've read. I'm not going to share it with anyone. Now this is the burden I carry. Actor Daniel Von Bargen, Super Troopers. Seinfeld, attempted suicide by shooting himself in the temple with a .38 revolver. He was diabetic and didn't want to go to the hospital for another amputation. Unfortunately he survived and was severely wounded. He also was permanently blinded from the gunshot. There's a transcript of the police call that left me shook. He passed away 3 years later from a battle with diabetes. I remember reading this is why some people duct tape the gun to their hand if they attempt suicide in case the first shot doesn't complete the job. Had a family friend that failed to kill himself that way also, managed to blow his jaw off, if things were bad before. An octopus penis is actually one of their tentacles. So if you would go and pet an octopus at SeaWorld or some other place you could be groping their penis. That my father died believing that I was not his child. When my mother told me, it broke my heart and has forever changed my relationship with my family. Cockroaches can fly at 5 km per hour and can live 3 weeks without their head. But they eventually die of starvation. They have a main brain in their head and also a primitive brain near their abdomen. Cockroaches also predate grass. The last one is not that scary but kinda scary knowing they've been here so long so getting them out will be harder and they will probably outlive humans. Edit Ray worded some stuff. Oh lord I hate them so much and wish I hadn't read this. Every time you think of a fond memory, you rewrite that memory in your brain. And with time it will slowly deviate more and more from what you originally remembered. Without you ever knowing it. I didn't want to know this. Let me have what I thought was the truth until I fade away damn it. There was a woman in the 18th century called Mary Toft who stuffed dead rabbits into her vagina and later acted as if she gave birth to them. The doctors believed her till one of them examined found corn in one of the rabbits stomachs. It couldn't have been in there. She also did the same with a hog's bladder and a cat's legs. Also with about 15 rabbits. Don't know why I even know this. Every year thousands of children write to Santa Claus. One of the most requested things children ask for on their Christmas lists is a dad. This hurts. I'm going to get a drink. Because your body uses vitamin C to make collagen, which holds your skin together and makes scar tissue, when you get scurvy your old wounds reopen. There was an experiment once where, every hour, a rat had to choose between getting fed or having the pleasure nerve of its brain stimulated, and the rat being tested starved every time. It's pretty interesting but also kind of sad. Thanks, Freeman's mind. Yes, but for those experiments, they keep the rats isolated in cages with nothing else to do. So of course they choose that option all the time. It's harder to recognize suicidal people than you think. I don't really regret knowing this, but it's a depressing fact nonetheless. Depressed people in general, typically, are nicer to other people because they don't want to cause others the same pain they feel themselves. Doctors performed surgeries on infants without anesthesia until the 80s. They thought the babies couldn't feel pain. When David Foster Wallace hanged himself on his back porch, he tied his hands together with duct tape so that even if he changed his mind at the last minute, he wouldn't be able to escape. 
because he had been struggling with severe mental health issues for more than a decade. So it was sad but not surprising when he finally succeeded in committing suicide. I just wish I didn't know the detail about the duct tape. That's not the first I heard of a suicide like this. Growing up we heard of a teenager who stuffed cotton balls up his nose, crammed Kleenex in his mouth, and then tied a plastic bag around his head and handcuffed his hands behind his back so there would be no escape. Every suicide by hanging that I have had to go to, I can see their regret after it starts and before they pass out from the evidence at the scene. I can't imagine what is happening in people's minds as they struggle to fix something they can't. It leads me to believe just like the documentary about the Golden Gate Bridge Jumpers has said it almost is always a instant regret. The scariest hanging suicides to me are the ones where they have a way out, but never take it. My neighbor hung himself from a tree, and all he did was bend his knees. At any point, he could have stood up and stopped it, but he didn't. The ones who can't stop and want out I feel terrible for, but some even save a way out but don't take it. That anesthesia doesn't always works. My colleague donated one of his kidneys to his brother and he experienced the entire operation without being able to move or scream. Pain and all. Took many months of therapy moving on from this. My wife's epidural worked on only one side when we had our first child. She said it was the worst tease and worst distraction of her life. That my mom never really wanted to marry my dad, was still in love with her college sweetheart, was unhappy in the entire marriage, and still had two kids with him. Even if my dad didn't want a second kid, I love my little brother, but if your partner doesn't want a kid and you stop using birth control so you can have one anyways, that's effed up. Horses masturbated by hitting their one meter long dong against their bellies. Female horses rub against wooden poles and end up with splinters 10 centimeters long in their coochie. Wow this really explained something. A few years ago a friend's female horse had a large cut in its vagina. It was unexplained. My friend, who is obsessed with true crime scenarios, insisted it was her neighbor that did it because he didn't like living next to horses. Whatever, this master bashing theory now makes more sense. Dying from starvation is because your body exhausted all of its resources to feed your brain and then finally as a last resort it taps into digesting the muscles around vital organs in order to get the ketones your brain needs until there's only one muscle left, your heart. So technically you die because you ate your own heart, not a scientifically accurate explanation. Closer to Eli 5, but yet, yeah, could have gone a lifetime without knowing that. Sort of cliche, but there are millions and billions of living organisms on your body, so to them, you are their galaxy. That's kinda romantic. The death of Junko Furuta. She was put through absolute heck that no human should ever experience. I am serious when I say, look up the details at your own risk. It's so devastating that you'll, most likely, never forget it. This is definitely one of the worst things listed here, if not the worst. It is astounding to me that people can be so cruel. The fact that the people who did this to her barely got any prison time at all makes this even worse. Your child is more likely to be abused by someone you know than a stranger. You literally have to protect children more from their own family and friends than random criminals. I don't regret knowing this. Not really a fact, but when I was 20, I wasn't afraid of anything. Now that I am approaching 40, I've learned of so many ways things can go wrong and people can freak up that I'm always at least a bit cautious. That's probably for the best, but I liked being a fearless 20 year old more. Maybe it's well known, but the song I don't like Mondays is based on a horrific story. A teenage girl named Brenda Spencer lived across the street from an elementary school. One day there were a bunch of kids outside the gate waiting to be let in and she just started shooting at them. None of the kids were killed, but two school employees were. The principal and a janitor, I believe, but I don't remember for sure. Afterwards she went back home to wait for the police, and she called up a radio station to tell them what she did. And when they asked her why, her answer was I just don't like Mondays. It's a little cliche, I know. But this is my first time being famous so humor me. Thank you for the awards, even if I don't understand why this was labeled wholesome lol. I was shocked when I saw I had 50 upvotes lol. 1.5k is something new. The Garfield color. 
My mother abandoned me as a baby. My father raised me as an infant. My mother came back and the courts in the 1960s gave custody back to her even though my father fought for me. All my life, my mother demonized my father and worked to keep us apart. All of my life, I have struggled with the feeling that I don't belong. This comes from being raised not belonging to my mother's new family, or my father's new family. I have always carried a pervasive feeling of abandonment. Then one day my father drops the bomb by telling my brother. Frick me that makes me mad about your mother just by reading. Somewhere, someplace, someone is starving to death at this moment. Not like I'm regretting it but makes me sad every time I recall it. Ooh the top comment is an anesthesia fact. Let's make people less comfortable. Anesthesiologists use a proprietary mix of drugs. IT might be called general anesthetic but each one mixes their own cocktail. Sir. Always tell your anesthesiologist if you smoke weed because it affects the amount of anesthetic you need to actually stay asleep. She he does not care if you are a stoner or breaking local laws. I promise. The fact that at literally any second you could lose someone you love. Everyone knows this but once it's happened a few times you're acutely aware of it. A car wreck. A miscarriage. A heart attack. Stroke. Add to this how easily your entire life can be thrown off track and essentially ruined. One car accident. One divorce. One job loss. One terrible diagnosis. We all walk along the edge of a precipice. The lucky ones are the people who are unaware of this because none of those terrible things have happened to them. Yet. C-section births in America happen more so on Friday because they take less time than a vaginal birth. And doctors want to start their weekend early. How the dolphins really are. Rather than being friendly sea creatures. They're cruel ocean menaces. Just research it if it brave enough. Before the Nazis executed people in Auschwitz-Birkenau. They would shave the heads and save the hair of anyone whose hair was long. This was so they could weave it into material and make socks and other clothes with it. I will never forget going to Auschwitz-Birkenau. It's harrowing in ways that words and pictures cannot describe. All of Disney's horrible business practices. Mainly because if you criticize Disney or even bring these up, you get fans saying stop ruining my childhood even if it's something they did last week. People by and large don't care. They just want to consume. I saw a video once on YouTube. A fish is taken live from the tank, scaled and dipped in batter and deep fried with its head out of the oil and then served cooked but still alive. It was gasping on the plate and the girl eating it was laughing. It was horrible. The thought still makes my jaw and stomach have that cold heavy feeling. I wish I never watched it. Don't go watch it. It's sad and horrible. This reminds me of a video I accidentally saw years ago of a girl throwing newborn puppies into a river. I only saw a few seconds of it before immediately shutting it off. But I will never forget it. Bears don't really care if their prey is alive or dead. So most bear killings maulings likely happened while the human was still alive. And likely conscious and terrified. That really goes for most predators. There was once a guy. Phineas Gage. Who worked in a railroad company. He had to stuff gunpowder down the hole and for some reason. He looked down. When the gunpowder exploded. The tamping iron he was holding shot through his skull. Landed some 80 feet or 24 meters away. He shook on the ground for a few minutes and he just went straight to the doctor. Once there. He vomited so hard that a half teacup of his brain came out. He survived for 10 years with some impairments to his behavior. For 10 years. He was recovering until his brain basically realized it should have died 10 years ago and gave him seizures and he freaking died. The bully sticks I've been giving my dogs for a treat are dried bull penis. Hey dog, are you a good boy? Yes you are. Here's a 12 inch dried dong. Dolphins will use a puffer fish to get high, sucking on the poison that they excrete. Alternately they will also use fish as a flashlight and effectively frick them to death to get their jollies. Monkeys baboons are also known to do this, but with frogs toads instead. Nature is so beautiful. It. Dolphins are fricked up. The casting process, production rules and pay system is different for actors with speaking roles than it is for background actors. Extras. This means that whenever you see a random character speak in a movie TV show, you can be pretty sure that they're going to come up later. Cop shows are horrible about this. 
Most of the time when you see some rando get bumped into and say hey, watch it or something similar, they are going to be a person of interest later on. Everything I read on here just now. Beyond that, the heinous deeds of several serial killers. Go outside and find somewhere you can look up at the sky and lie down. Now, picture the entire earth all at once. Try to imagine every land mass, every city, every single person on the planet. Think about the rotation of the earth and how many of those people are currently asleep as the sun hits the other side of the planet. Now, extend that until it feels like you're wearing the entire planet as a backpack and think about how subjective direction is. That in fact as you stare up, you are actually staring forward. The earth is spinning around the sun at 460 meters a second. That is how fast you are moving forward and the only thing holding you down is the gravity of the earth. Now think about how the sun is moving even faster, spinning even more, toward infinite nothing. So yeah basically that. This fact can't scare me because I don't know what meters are. This isn't nature oriented, or something for the masses. But, I regret going to therapy and finding out that the words and actions of my mother were textbook abuse. My wife pointed out that I flew off the handle a little too easily and I agreed to see a therapist. After about two years, I discovered that the way she would mold my thoughts mostly in hopes that I wouldn't move out of state, were demeaning and abusive. Other than moving past mom raising me to believe I was too fat to move to LA. You're funny hon. But nobody will want to look at you for half an hour on TV. Too dumb to go to law school. Law school is for smart people dear. Maybe you could work your way up at the bowling alley. Actual quote from my mom. As well as telling my girlfriends. In the 90s. That the relationship is going nowhere. I know my son and I'm positive he's gay. Which means he'll die from AIDS. He probably already has it. So I wouldn't have sex with him. So. Despite evolving my mind and catching up with the times and ditching the church beliefs, I came out of it extremely bitter and angry at my mom. She died 10 years ago, and I'm really glad she's gone. My sisters went through the same thing and they feel the same way. That 70% of cancer cases happen due to random genetic errors. You could be perfectly healthy your whole life, doing everything right, and still get cancer. That not everything said in reddit is factual and is good advice. Take whatever redditors say with a grain of salt and do your own research to back it up. A few months ago, my best friend drunkenly admitted to me to cheating on his gf 4 years ago. They had been together about a year at this point. There is a Chinese saying, confession is good for the soul, but bad for the reputation. Most likely, your friend just wanted to assuage his guilt. The world's longest crap in 26 feet long. Bonus. Otters regularly gang rape and commit necrophilia. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.